Welcome to Hexcells Plus. Uh, this is my achievement hunting series, and so my goal is to just try and get all the achievements for Hexcells Plus. Um, uh, I've already kind of started, so <laughs> we're starting on uh, the second world of World 5, and we're just going to complete World 5 today without mistakes, which will give us the achievement of unlocking World 6 and com like continue our progress towards completing the entire game without mistakes, which unfortunately means every time we do make a mistake we have to restart, which happens a lot. It happens, it happens so much. So the goal of this game is to find how many blue cells there are uh, in the grid. The black cells uh, have usually have numbers in them that tell you how many blue cells are touching them. Uh, or they can have question marks in them, which basically means you're not getting any additional information from that cell. When blue cells have number in them, numbers in them, they actually tell you how many uh, blue cells there are in a radius around them. It's a two cell radius. You can actually see when you click on the blue cells, a little hexa a bigger hexagon appear that over a bunch of the other cells in the grid. Um, the numbers at the top tell you how many uh, blue cells there are in the column below them. They can also be on the the uh, the side, in which case it tells you how many there are in the row, and they can also be on the diagonal. And as you can see, those some of those <laughs> there's there's the first mistake, <laughs> another first restart. <laughs> um, the the two, which has the dashes on either side, basically means that there are two in that column, but they're not all in a row. Which So that's why I uh, marked out, like I put black cells on either side of those blue cells, because there's no way that the other blue cell is going to be directly next to the blue cell that's already there. When you have like three three with the uh, dashes, it doesn't mean that each, each blue cell is not touching another blue cell, it just means that all three aren't in a row. Um, there's also, I'll talk about it. Oh, there's there's a second reset. <laughs> a third attempt. This one this one takes it quite a few attempts. I keep fucking up. Like I'll just I'll mostly just miss clicks, but also some logical errors. <laughs> um yeah, there's another one that uh another one that's uh like a number with the what's it called? Curly bracket. <laughs> They're called curly brackets. <laughs> okay, uh, when there's a number with curly brackets, um, it means that all the no they're all in a row. The blue cells are all in a row. So it's kind of like the opposite of the ones with dashes on either side. <laughs> I had to look up the word for curly bracket. I had to look it up. <laughs> I am a professional, I swear. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this is a fun puzzle, because, I don't know, I, I like logic puzzles. Um, it's funny because I was going, like, my plan for this was to do the puzzle slowly, and then just, like, explain my process, but then there was three hours of footage, and there was no way I was going to fit any of it just, like, with a play-by-play. -play. What? <laughs> Are you talking about us? No, I'm talking to the recording! Shush! Sorry. I decided to do this in the living room. With... eavesdroppers. You're talking to me. Well, no! No! Anyway, sorry. Um, I forgot what I was... What was I saying? Never mind. Um, oh yeah, so there's no play-by-play. -play, Cause that would take so long. That would just be painful. Speaking of painful, <laughs> oh man, this mistake, okay, um, I was so convinced that I was right and I couldn't figure out where like I made the like logical like error <laughs> and I even clicked it twice because I was just so sure I was right and I was trying to figure out, yeah, I was just so sure. <laughs> Anyway, and I didn't realize what happens is the two at the bottom, the blue two, I, I, for some reason when I was counting how many were in that column, I thought that that two had only the two yellows in the column and I missed that the yellow to the uh, right of it was also <laughs> in that radius. So I convinced myself that the blue had to be in that column and it messed me up and I had to restart. And it was so far along. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, but it's fine. That's that's the puzzle life. Next two arrows were just a lot earlier, so I didn't waste as much time. It's kind of funny because I basically did the same mistake here as I did in the third attempt, uh, where I just missed the, the third yellow in the radius. I was so done with this puzzle. I'd actually made a few attempts before I decided to make a video out of it, and at this point I was, I was just done with it. <laughs> this puzzle just definitely went a whole lot smoother than the last one. <laughs> and you can finally see the brackets I was talking about. When a number's in brackets, it means all the blue cells are in a row. Which is why I was able to put a blue cell on top of the three in brackets at the bottom of the grid because they have to be in a row and no matter how you do three in a row that blue is always in the three it has to be blue no matter what. Another fun trick that actually comes up a lot in this game is when you have a three with dashes on the other side and there are only like four yellow spaces in a row, the yellow spaces on the ends are always blue because the only way you would have one of the spaces on the end not be blue is if it was three in a row and they can't be a row. One thing you'll see me do a lot is just counting cells, counting them over and over again, even places I've counted before, just to see if anything's changed while I was doing stuff elsewhere. And that's 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 most of this game basically, just a lot of counting. When I get stuck, one thing I'll do is I'll just turn on all the lines for the like column blues and stuff, and just let that help me visualize the, the grid more, and usually I'll end up finding something I missed, like a completed column that I can just finish filling out and stuff like that. It, it's, it's pretty helpful, although sometimes in like bigger grids, it can get very confusing when you do it at the beginning, because there's just lines everywhere. <laughs> And I completed it first try. I'm amazing at this game. Just just ignore ignore the last one. <laughs> this one had a really fun gimmick 
where because you have like the six on top and then four and then two, it meant there were like six in the whole column. But because you knew there were four in the lower columns, that means there could only be two in the first four yellows of that column. So it was really like you just had to subtract to figure out how many were in each of the little segments of the column, which is why I knew there were like none in that six in the in the like middle column because there were six in the entire column but there are also six in the lower two columns which means there couldn't be any in the top column that one was done so fast honestly if there was one that i would probably do like step by step it would have been that one Let's just say this is another puzzle that takes me a while. <laughs> This is probably something you guys have noticed, but when I restart a puzzle, I don't really go back to where I was by like copying what I did. I tend to go through the steps I did, um, which is, is a bit faster because then I don't have to count as much because I already know that it will check out in some places, but it still takes me a while and if I forget some of the steps, I still have to like re-figure them out. Um, it probably would be faster if I just like copied what I did before. And like, I don't know, took a screenshot or something and then got back that way. But I don't know, it just doesn't feel sportsmanly. And like, I never, I never remember, I never want to remember, like, the ones that I messed up and be like, okay, it has to be the other one. Because that doesn't, because that's just kind of like guessing, but like, lucky guessing. Or reverse engineering lucky guessing. And I don't want to do that. I'd rather, I'd rather figure it out from scratch. <laughs> One of the places that I probably would have benefited a lot from like doing a screenshot thing or something is here because I get stuck for so long and where I, where I would get unstuck is there's a three in the middle, like in the, the two with dashes column that already has three blues connected to it. So I just need to make the rest of them black cells, but I don't notice it for so long. And I just go back and forth across the grid trying to figure out where I messed up or like where the next breakthrough is. And it's right there and I don't notice it. And it's actually something that I actually fit found like earlier in, in the first attempts, but I just don't see it for so long. I end up turning on all the lines, hoping it'll help me. And you can see how confusing everything gets because just the entire grid is full of all these lines.
I hope you guys are in as much pain as me watching how close my mouse cursor gets to that damn three and still not noticing it and even getting to like those two yellow squares right next to it and seeing nothing because I am dying. <laughs> Finally! Finally! as you guys thought we were done. But no, we have to do it all over again. <laughs> and you thought the first puzzle was going to be hell. If I had to choose, I think I would still prefer this one to the first one, just because I think the first one was just really painful. <laughs> so painful. This one, this one I was a bit more chill. And it, it, it was, it was fine. <laughs> this last one honestly should not have taken as long as it did. It was, it should have been like a quick I don't know, 10 minutes at most, maybe 6 if I was particularly fast, but I, I, 
This one was definitely misclick heavy, especially when I was restarting and trying to get back to where I was. But it, it should not have taken so long. <laughs> it was probably because of getting to the end of the session and I was tired at that point. I just wanted it to be done. Yeah, maybe if it was the first puzzle I would have gotten it done faster, but by that point I was just mentally drained. <laughs> My saving grace is probably that I was doing this recording in the kitchen while my cousin and my friend were there, and they were just chatting and having a good time and even listening to music and stuff, and I think it probably helped me get through the recording and get to the end. up here I could have been done so much sooner <laughs> but now now we just gotta restart a whole bunch And we did it! We unlocked World 6, we're almost done completing all the puzzles without mistakes. This, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll try something different editing-wise for World 6 when I get around to it, but I don't know yet. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, I hope you guys have a great day.